Welcome to another edition of the Ball Washer Podcast. Here is your host, Ryan Logan. And remember, always wash your balls. <coughs> Golf balls, that is. All right. Hey, everybody. What's going on? It's Ryan Logan here. And it's time for a first episode of the Ball Washer Podcast. We are here at PXG Detroit in Troy, Michigan. I can't wait for this. This is going to be an awesome series of videos that you guys are going to be able to learn a lot from. And today we're sitting here with uh, AJ Partinio. Thanks for joining me for these, man. I'm, I'm really interested. Introduce yourself a little bit for everybody who's going to be watching. All right. Thank, well, th thanks for inviting me out. Appreciate it. Um, my name is AJ Partinio. I'm the fitting team leader here at PXG Detroit. Um, so we have a store with three fitters. A um, couple RAs, three fitting bays, um, and a putting bay as well. We also have a mobile fitter that travels around Michigan. Um, but how I got started in golf, uh, I went to Ferris State for the golf program. Uh, did internships all over the country in California and New York, Arizona. Ended up coming back to Walnut Creek Country Club where I was the assistant for a while. Ended up being the head pro, owning the golf shop. And then I have uh, since transitioned out of that side of the business into PXG where uh, I love it, and everything's been going awesome here at the PXG Detroit store, so I'm happy that we're doing this podcast. Yeah, and one one cool thing is, different years, I, I won't say who's older, but we went to the same high school, so it's funny how worlds collide, and we and we get this stuff going, and our uh, love for golf is what, what's brought us back together. So one of the things we're going to do each week that uh, we have AJ on is he's, he's going to show me how to properly fit clubs. As you guys know, I talk a lot about playing golf, and I, I consider myself a, a decent golfer. But the importance of fitting clubs and having ha having the right you know technology behind your swing can make the world's difference when it comes to to the golf course, right? On that, hundred percent. I mean, golf's all about um, your misses. What, what my dad used to say, you know, it's whoever can hit their bad shots the best. So <laughs> if we can uh, help eliminate some of your bad shots, whether um, that's you know because the ball spins too much or launches too high or you have the wrong bag set up where you should be having a hybrid or instead of an iron or whatever the case is. So we love to help people out and uh, get them going in the, uh, in the right direction to help lower the scores. Yeah, that's why I've never brought in my golf bag for you to see once. I think I have five or six clubs that I call. My buddies love to call me the garage club guy. Any club my stepdad throws out, I usually grab and learn how to hit it. Yeah. So this is going to be nice to uh, to finally see what, what what good clubs can do for you. Now, before we get over to the, uh, we're going to start with putters. By the way, he's going to AJ is going to introduce me to some technology that a lot of you guys probably haven't seen, and uh, it, it's going to be very interesting and, and an awesome lesson. But I want to get a couple of thoughts on uh, things happening in the golf world. We had a, P a PXG winner mm -hmm. last weekend. Tell us about that one, man. That was yeah. awesome. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to watch the whole tournament. Uh, I was actually up north. I played golf at Bucks Run, and then I played Crystal Downs on Sunday. Um, so, I, uh, I snuck in, watched the end of the Lions game, went back to the hotel, and caught the tail end. So, it was a five-way playoff. And our PXG staffer, Luke List, won. So, yes, nice. Uh, we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're seeing more and more guys play PXG, and, and, and for good reason, man. It's, it's an awesome brand and the best technology out there for sure. One other thing. I, I, I don't know which way you stand on, on the whole uh, Live PGA Tour. But I wanted to know, what do you think about the PJ or the Live Tour guys? They they decided now that they will not be considered for world rankings. Do you think that's fair? Is this another kind of gang up by the PJ Tour with them? What do you think on that, man? Should, should first off, should they be allowed to be part of the world rankings? I think um, I'm split. I think that they should be able to get official world ranking points for their tournaments because they're playing against such good fields. Right. But I do agree with why they're not. So I do think they should have to play um, 72 holes and it should have to be um, a tee time oriented event and not a 54 hole shotgun kind of hit and giggle. That's that's where I'm at with you, 100. percent If you're going to play golf, play it the way that everybody else is playing it. I understand what they're doing to try to spice it up and make it different, make it more appealing to younger crowds with the music and all that. But you got to at least play a full, a full tournament of golf. Yeah. You know, I'm not one of the, I, you know, I, when I go out and play, I wear shorts. I listen to music. Right. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a PGA tour player um, <laughs> for a couple of weeks a year. I pretend like I'm pretty good at golf and I play like the Michigan PGA championship. Yeah. But um, if you're going to try to get official world ranking points and you're playing against other people that are all playing a certain format, 
uh, it's only fair that you have to play the same format as them to be able to get those points. No, I, um, I, I completely agree with that. That's that's something I didn't think about because I'm, I'm going, man, this is just another way to shut it down. And I've kind of been, ah, I'm full PGA. I kind of like what Liv's doing. I'm full PGA. I'm like, yeah, I've been back and forth the whole time. But uh, – yeah, you're right. It's got it's got to be a full full tournament of golf. Yeah, I mean, I, I like what they're doing. You know, with like like we said, music, shorts, and making it a little bit more fun. Um, but I also miss having some of the you know best players in the world over here golfing on our tour, where we right. see them all the time. I mean, I don't, I don't, I haven't watched one level golf event on. on I don't even know where where, where, where the, the hell you find watch them on YouTube or something. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I've been so trying. Like, I, I haven't been able to find them. Yeah, I don't necessarily hate live. I don't love live, but I definitely think if they want to get some official world ranking points, they should at least adjust their schedule where a few of the events are maybe full tournaments. Right. Like, however, they need to do that to qualify. Yeah, at least things. if you do a few bigger events throughout the year that are, but. Uh, well, God, we'll have to see what comes up because I, I definitely know that's not going to be the last of it. Oh, no, These no. two are going to be butt heads for a while. But uh, all right, anyway, let's get to the part you guys have all been waiting for. Like I said, week one of this is going to be all about the putter, and boy, does PXG have some putters for you. So uh, let's go over to the putting green and see what we can get done. All right, so here we are. We are at the putter wall. This place, I'm going to show you some shots around the whole thing because it's absolutely amazing, but I cannot wait to get into this. AJ, what do you got for us, man? You got to take it away here. You're the expert. All right. So for putters, um, well, before we dive into the putters, first, maybe the reason why we're looking at putter fittings, right? So putter fittings, um, everyone's strokes or everyone, when they play golf, about half their strokes or sometimes even more are with the putter, but it's very rarely fit. And they very rarely practice. So, I think I've used four putters this season so far. And one of them I actually bought. The other, I, you want to know something? You can't make fun of me. Never. I've been using my wife's putter the last, like, there three weeks. Go. Yeah. My putter that I'm using it's right now. It's whatever one will make a putt, right? My putter I'm using right now is one of the fitters who's shorter than me. So it's like a 33-inch putter. I'm hunched over. About <laughs> like dinner. you're playing putt-putt when you were a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm rolling it good. The numbers are good. So good. it's solid. But so the importance of putter fitting is... You know, there's a bunch of different um, stroke types out there, and the hosels that we have, you know, help your help your certain stroke type for your misses. So we can make a setup where the putter actually works in your favor versus against your favor. Um, and the cool thing about PXG is everywhere you go, you go. Um, it's just a wall of putters. You grab one and putt with it. And you're yeah. like, oh man, this one looks nice. Feels good. Yeah, Let's it feels go. good. You, you make a putt. But um, in here, we have customizable for everything. So um, not only is it just we have some pre-built putters that you can test. But basically, we'll set up a putter exactly the way you want it, and then that's, that's going to be what you order. So it's going to feel exactly the same way, grip, length, everything. So, Just right to your tee. Yep. So basically, we have three different blade models. Um, so we have, I'll bring them down here. We have uh, the Brandon. Um, this is our uh, original blade model, very similar to a lot of blades on the market. Okay. And then we have a closer. Um, I got out of shot there. Sorry about that. Closer no, is more of like a wide blade, just a little bit more stability than the Brandon. Okay. Um, and then we have the Mustang. The Mustang is set up, it has um, these kind of flanges on the end would really help with alignment. So okay. if you're struggling with your alignment, this is going to be the one to use. Ah. Um, and See, it's stuff you don't even think about like that, guys. When, when you're looking at a putter, like AJ said, when you go and grab one off the rack and you go, ah, this thing feels good. It could feel good right then, but for us amateurs, when we get out on the course, it might not be how it felt in the store, and then all of a sudden – you got a you know three hundred dollar putter that you don't know what to do with. Exactly. So this yeah. is this is perfect being able to fit yourself for the exact putter that you need. Absolutely. We also have a bunch of different mallet options. So mallets are obviously more popular now in the PGA Tour. Right. Um, yeah. You're seeing around the amateurs, they're higher in MOI. So um, that's moment inverser. So it's easier to putt with a mallet putter as far as dispersion left to right. Okay. Um, and then, but distance control is probably easier with the blade. So it kind of depends on what you need for your game. So that's why we have so many different models is we're trying to fit everybody to the best of their ability. So I'll kind of go through some of these here. Uh, this is Bad Attack. Um, so Bad Attack here. This is our most popular putter and sells uh, the highest sales we have. Um, cool thing about this is you can pick the ball up. It just sticks between the prongs. You pick it right there up. So it's, it's popular. Blackjack, Everybody loves that. Blackjack <laughs> is another popular one as well. Um, this one looks like some other club companies that you might have seen. So it's a very familiar look. Um, so that's a good one. And then we have the one and done. Um, pretty similar to what we had before. Last time, our old generation had a ball in the back. 
with this different alignment aid, it kind of sets you up nice and you can set up and okay. really helps the alignment. And then the Apache is brand new this year. Um, this one is the biggest one, biggest footprint, highest MOI available. Um, it's going to be great for anybody that needs help on, on their putting. If they're struggling left to right, the big heavy weight keeps it, keep your strokes a little centered. And then off hits are a little bit more forgiving. All right, guys. So here we are. You can see we're, uh, what, what do you call this? It, it's like the, 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 the putting palace. How we this? refer to it as a putting lab. The putting lab. That's the better way to put it. Putting palace sounds like I'm watching something on Disney with my kid. <laughs> but we're in the putting lab, and we're ready to hit some putts. Man, I'm, I'm nervous for AJ to see my stroke, but that's the thing. That's why you come in here so they can fix it and make you look like a, uh, you know, uh, PGA player. So let's do it, man. Yeah. So I know you said right now you're using your wife's putter. Yeah. But oh, what is your most you common? had to hit that one again. Had to hit it one he had time. to hit it again. One more time. <laughs> uh, but what's your most common putter you use? Do you use a blade, a mallet? Uh, what I what I've used mostly the last couple of years has been a uh, mallet style. Okay. Yeah, mostly. All right. And what kind of neck type do you use? Are you a face balance? Are you a plumber's neck? Or are you a slant? Uh, more of a plumber's neck, I'd say. Okay. I, honestly, kind of walking into a store, like I said, grab one. Ah, that one feels good. Yeah. I made I made three on the putting mat. Let's 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 buy it and take it to the course. Cool. So. We'll start off with this one. Okay. That is a plumber's neck. Okay. So the putt does break slightly left. All right. Let's see how we do here. It's somewhat of a fast green too. Look at that. Makes Just train it. All right, video over. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> How does that feel? That feels good. And I've always been a guy who's liked, who at least I feel like I've liked a, a, a heavier uh, heavier mallet style just because of, I, I don't know why. I feel like I can sometimes get loosey-goosey when it's a lighter putter. Mm -hmm. So that's another reason why I'm using my wife's is for whatever reason. I don't know if it's with the women's clubs or what. It, it seems like it's much heavier than my putter. So I feel like I've been hitting better putts, but last week, and I couldn't hit one to save my, my damn life. So it's probably a little shorter, right? Yeah. Well, when you take, you know, when you make it called shorter, it makes the swing weight heavier. So it feels heavier to you because it's longer. You're adding more weight to the end of it to offset it. So it feels lighter. And I feel like I've kind of liked shorter putters just as I'm, I'm not a tall guy at all. Yeah. So I feel like sometimes if I have a long one, I'm kind of, you know, sucking it in to, to keep it there. Sure. So to have a little bit of a shorter one, it, it feels all right. Let's what's, see. What's your new normal tendency? You miss it left or to the right? Uh, mostly I'm pulling it. Okay. Yeah, mostly pulling it, so missing it to the left there. Got it. Like that one, I feel like was off the heel a little bit, but still just draining putts here at PXC. Yeah, so one of the things I didn't cover is our face design. So we have a new pyramid face design. Um, so what it is with that thinnest face in golf, the new design, it helps with skid distance. Okay. Um, putting a true roll in the ball faster. So the faster the golf ball starts to roll, the more it's going to stay on line. Okay. If you get a putter that has too much loft, or not enough loft, or the milling's wrong and it's kind of bouncing, then the putter can kind of hop off line. You want a ball to roll as fast as possible. Ah. So that's the way you're you're getting that nice sound and feel because of our new face design right. with the S core behind it. Okay. Yeah. Man. Pretty consistent stroke type though, little in to out, which isn't bad. Not bad. Okay, opposite of me, I'm out to in. <laughs> well, great. We can work on it together then. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle, right? Well, that's the beauty of PXG. So um, we can fit all different stroke types, um, but for a putter, I don't really care if you're out to in and out as long as you're consistent. Right. If you're if you kind of bounce before, and then that double bend is probably going to be the one we want the most consistent. But if you always do one thing, then we want to make sure we're kind of helping your stroke for that pop. Right. Right. Okay. So like that one, you pulled a little bit. So um, you know, if we take a look at some of the numbers here, um, launch direction is a little bit different. So we can go down to our uh, here we can see how you launch it, your stroke length, which is right in line. So your stroke length is right at nine inches, so 10 is about normal. And then you're right on the, um, your, your forward swing is 0.37 seconds, right in the range. So you have a good stroke type. It's not like you're taking it back too far and slowing it's down. It's slowing down. It's not like you're you know, a pop putter where you're taking it back short and kind of stabbing it. Right. Right. You have a good, pretty, you have pretty good, good motion going. All right. This guy gets you fit for something, the right length and everything. Exactly. That's, that's what it comes to. So that one feels pretty good to us, right? You like that length? Yeah, I really do. All right. So what I'm going to have you do now is you like the you like a plumber's neck is what you originally said. Yeah. So just to confirm, 
you know, putter fittings for PX3 are about an hour long usually. We're going to do kind of a lower version today, just kind of give everyone a show. But um, you said that you like plumber's neck and you kind of liked mallets. But I want to throw you in a blade plumber's neck just to see what you think. Okay. To help rule this one out and make that one the right choice. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter we're, when we're doing the fittings, we want to show people how good the technology is. But it's not like sometimes we find the perfect putter in the first two putts. Right. And then they're like, Oh, I don't know. Maybe should I buy it? Should I not buy it? So then you got to go and show people some let's, other putts. Let's see like, the different options. How much different these two right. putters are. So I want you to roll a few with this one. Okay. See what that one feels like. That's the closure, right. and that has our M16 shaft in it as well. Some of these golf balls. Again, guys, PXG Detroit, and uh, make sure you're subscribing to the page. You can find everything uh, right here on YouTube or WCSX.com, Big Jim's house page. We'll have it all up there. New uh, episodes every Thursday as I uh, get myself get myself set here. That's gonna be a little different look to you there. I think it's the first one you missed in a while, huh? I think so. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> all right. Let's hit another one here. Not bad there. So I do like this, and I'll be honest with you, half of it, I think, is getting used to the look of it. Yeah. It's just making sure you like the look, too. So if you're a guy that tells me that you struggle with distance control, I would be like, hey, you know, I would go with the blade option because it's a little bit more feel-oriented. Um, a, a mallet is someone that kind of misses left and right. Distance control can be uh, can be kind of harder. So um, unless you're working on distance control, if you like a mallet, I'd still stick with a mallet because it's yeah. more forgiving. But uh, like you can see, your your stroke kind of changed. One of them went out to went out to in. One of them or one of them went into out. One of them went out to in, and one of them went out to in again. So when you were on the mallet, um, you were pretty consistent straight down the line. So overall, your stroke changed a lot with the with the blade putter. Right. With the extra incredible. extra weight. Um, of the mallet that kind of keeps you kind of nice and smooth. We have yeah. more consistent result versus with that one. We started our, our path one in out, one out, one you out. You got a couple two. different variables when right. I was hitting it with this one, right? Yeah. So right there, that would tell me that, hey man, I don't want to get, I don't want to get him into this putter because if he's having a good putting day, um, you know, he'll he'll do good. But when he's struggling, it's kind of all over the place. Right. And like I said earlier, golf's all about misses, right? Yeah. So if we can get you to make sure you're always two putting at worst. Right? We don't want you missing it by you know, a bunch of you know, five, 10 feet. And then when you have five footers, we don't want you missing the hole because your stroke's changing all over because the weighting of the putter. Right, okay. Does that other one feel a little too heavy for you though? That Apache, do you want to try it a little lighter or do you want to try it a little heavier? Uh, let's try it a little lighter. Okay. Yeah, let's, let, let's try a little lighter and just see what we get from that. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna put, uh, instead of the tens, I'm gonna put five gram weights in the back. Okay. So we're gonna go from 40 to 30 grams. Okay. So we'll try that and see if that feels any different to you. Kind of want to look at that speed control for us, all right? All right, let's try it out. Look like it went in the hole a little softer there. A little bit, yeah. It didn't bang the back of the cup like, like the other previous one did. Well, that was pushed. That pushed that one a that little bit. That was pushed. That's all right. Grab a couple more balls here, guys. Again, just the treatment you're gonna get. He's not this nice just because I'm in here. This is this is every time you come in to see AJ and all the uh, all the people here at PXG. Hundred percent. Nice putt there. That felt really good. That one. See, I would say that your stroke is much more consistent with this setup. If I was going to have, you know, get you a putter today, I would definitely go Apache, slant neck, and uh, I like a little bigger grip for you. Yeah. You could even try one bigger grip if you want. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's, Let's mess around with it. Let's Absolutely. Was your, when, while you're doing that, I want to bring this camera over here because I want to show everybody a little bit what we're talking about on, this, on the screen here. So as you can see, everything's monitored by the track, man. Mm -hmm. And you can see the, the putt that I just missed. Pulled it a little. Uh, I don't even know. Is, is that a pull? We'll go back. Yeah, that's just a little, just a little pull. But look how nice and straight up this one is that you made. 
pretty sure this is the one that you made. Oh, a deleted one. That's the one you missed. One, <laughs> second. one second. It's this one. See how the ball started a little farther right? So yep. that was, that's what we're looking for. Launch direction was perfect on that one. See how nice and straight your blue line is? So your blue line is your path. Um, red line is your golf ball starting. And then your orange line is the golf ball track. Okay. So, and then you can see I have all the putters tagged differently that we've worked on. Right. So we can go back into the table format and we can kind of look in and... Um, look at the, the data from each putter and kind of predetermine what the best what the best option is. You can also um, go back and look at like one of my favorite views to look at is the club data, so you can see how far your stroke length is or and, and anything that's going on. So it's very nice technology to have. Right, everything that goes in to making you a better putter, get you set up with everything you need. It's it's right there on the screen in front of you. Nothing works better than than data, and you're going to get it all when you're here. So this one, we're trying a, a different, a little different setup when it comes to, to the grip, a little little thicker grip, right? Yep. Or so if you bigger grip. So if you're a person that misses to the left, a bigger grip is all is good for you. Okay. It kind of takes your hands out of it. Maybe you don't rotate the face as much. I'm not saying it works for everybody, but it's certainly something to try. Right. So I always I always try to get people to try the bigger grip. Like this is pretty much like other than the fact that this is an Apache, I use. Um, I have a Raptor model. Um, this is pretty much exactly the same setup that I use. So it's, um, I like a bigger, a little bit bigger grip, kind of take the hands out of it a little bit. I don't hold as much. So let me know what you think on a little bigger grip there. Oh, I can already tell you. See, I started off when I, I bought, uh, uh, bought my first putter. I got the biggest grip I could find just for that reason. Okay. I, I like the, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it just feels better in your hand or, you know, it's just an, another feel thing, right? Yeah. I went out uh, growing up. I like the skinniest grip ever. I felt I played all the time and I had great feel. Right. But as I'm married now and I don't play as much, I still play a good amount, but as I don't play as much, you know, the little grips, I feel like I was kind of flipping at just them too much. getting a little loose with it. Yeah. Right. And, I, and I couldn't control the distance as well. The bigger grips kind of help you keep that face square and also distance control. Pretty solid there. Yeah, this feels great here. All right, guys, so there it is. The uh, putting lab, he got his thoughts on the world golf rankings. This is what it's gonna look like every other week here from PXG Detroit. I wanna say thank you to AJ, everybody here for allowing us to do this. Remember, subscribe, watch it, wcsx.com. Uh, come in, check out what they have to offer. And next video, we will do a little bit of short game, right? A little bit of short game, a little bit of short game. And also, um, when you go, after you subscribe and do all that, if you go to the PXG, web, uh, uh, PXG website and you hit the fitting locations on the top right, you can search uh, Troy and it will bring you up to the store, right to our acuity calendar. And you can book a fitting here at the store uh, with myself or any of the other fitters here at the store. And we'd love to have you come in. Boom, come and get your guys' uh, PXG gear. They got everything in this store. It's incredible. We'll see you guys next time.